What's up, everyone? I'm Jazz Gonzo, and this is What's Next. The NFL. Uh, huge blockbuster trade that happened. Um, Carson Wentz from the Philadelphia Eagles goes to the Indianapolis, Indianapolis Colts, excuse me, uh, for a uh, bag of napkins and uh, some coupons from McDonald's. But in all seriousness, uh, let me say this. As a long-life Eagles fan, I've seen the good, the mad, the ugly. Uh, from the early years of Dick Vermeil, shows my age, uh, to the Super Bowl run in 80, to the end of the, another Super Bowl run in 2004 when we lost to the Patriots, to finally culminating in 2017 with a Super Bowl win against those same Patriots and that, yes, that same Tom Brady, uh, who's playing with the Buccaneers. You look at how the NFL conducted itself in 2020. 50% ratings drop. Even a Super Bowl, its lowest rated Super Bowl in 13 seasons. Even Brady and Mahomes couldn't dig itself out of, out of that hole. Um, but of course, which Brady led to holding up another trophy, another MVP, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, whatever. But no, I'm serious. You know, in all seriousness, all Brady, all props, seven rings, you know, the GOAT. It's, you know, there's no uh, discussion there. But when it comes to this trade, the Eagles didn't get what they wanted for him, what they thought they were going to get from him. Rumors were that Wentz was going to get traded to the Bears for Nick Foles. And Nick Foles was going to come back uh, into the fold um, in Philadelphia. Uh, other rumors that he was going to get traded to the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. But he ends up getting traded to Indianapolis and goes back with new head coach, uh, Frank Wright. Uh, so they're getting back together again. Um, so uh, we're going to see if uh, Lightning can strike um, if, if uh, Lightning can strike again. Uh, you know, they caught Lightning in a bottle once. And, uh, of course, as everybody knows, that Wentz um, led uh, the Philadelphia Eagles to the Super Bowl, uh, playing practically three quarters, more than three quarters of the season, uh, played 13 games uh, until he got hurt. Um, and of course, which opened the door for Nick Foles to uh, get the handoff and to lead them to get them the ring in 2017, which of course, as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I loved it. Um, but with that being said, let's take a look at this trade and see what Philadelphia got for him and how it works out for Philadelphia and Indianapolis. Winners and losers of NFL's blockbuster Carson Wentz trade. Uh, this comes uh, courtesy of um, BleacherReport.com. Excuse me. Carson Wentz is landing on the only team that made sense, the Indianapolis Colts. I agree. ESPN's Adam Scheffner and Chris Mortensen reported Thursday uh, today that the Colts agreed to a 2021 uh, trade, agreed to a trade on a 2021 third round pick, which a lot of people thought that Wentz would get first round and a conditional 22 second round pick that could turn into a first rounder to the Philadelphia Eagles in exchange for Wentz. Conditions? Wentz would have to play 75% of the snaps or 70% and the team makes the playoffs. This is a huge benefit, in my opinion, for Indianapolis. Now, there's the good and the bad side of this for, for um, on the Indy side. They're taking Carson Wentz's huge paycheck. Uh, his his, his uh, you're talking. I think it's one. I think it's twenty million this year, twenty three million the following year, and the third year after that is twenty five. So that's a lot of money invested. Uh, but I think working with Frank Wright again, I think would help him. I think would help him a lot. Now, this is the same Carson Wentz who, in 2018, got hurt. 2019, stays completely upright while the rest of the team is falling apart around him, gets the team to the, to the first round against Seattle, gets knocked out in the first round in Seattle. Not the team. Well, the team lost, but Wentz got, Wentz got, Wentz got knocked out of the game because of a cheap hit by Clowney, by defensive player Clowney. Comes into... 
the 2020 season, pandemic ridden season. No, uh, no, uh, no, no preseason, no training. Pretty much every single team in the NFL is coming in cold. Um, you really weren't going to know how the teams were going to uh, be until like around week five, week six, week seven, around there. Philadelphia dug itself a hole that they couldn't get out of. Uh, by week seven, they were pretty much they were pretty much out of the playoffs. So I think more like week six, uh, they were done. Um, which opened the door for Jalen Hurts, their second round, um, second or third round pick uh, that got drafted. And of course, you pretty much saw the uh, writing on the wall. Um, and I think Wentz had a lot to prove going in after the draft. Um, we saw something similar in Green Bay, that they drafted a quarterback. You know, you had Aaron Rodgers there. Aaron Rodgers got mad jumped down the throats of the Green Bay Packers, went out, league MVP. Of course, in Philly, things change because if you don't have anybody to protect you, you don't have any wired outs to throw to, you don't have a running game, you're going to struggle. And Wentz struggled, which of course led to his benching. Um, a lot of people thought, well, you, you know, just you're paying this guy this kind of money, play him, play him the rest of the year. But of course they didn't. Of course, once the season ended, uh, their coach, Doug Peterson, got fired. Of course, Wentz now gets traded to Indianapolis. And guess who's still there? Howie Roseman, GM. You look at the last two years. What did Harry Roseman do to improve this team? Any outside of sound outside of signing Deshaun Jackson, which of course he couldn't stay upright either. I mean, you know. He broke an ale. He was out for six weeks. So that's what got a lot of Philly fans pissed off, including myself. Um, when you invest this kind of money and you make these kind of deals and you do nothing to try to repair these deals, what happens? Either the coach gets the blame or the quarterback gets the blame. So... Peterson's was no good, get out. Wentz was no good, you're gone too. And who's there? Like I said, Harry Roseman. Harry Roseman should have been fired. He should have been fired. He should have been fired two years ago. And they could have had a GM who probably would have shook things up, made some, it goes, uh, made some uh, pivotal changes that might have said, hey, you know what? We got to protect Carson Wentz. We're paying him this kind of money. We got to give him max protect as much as possible. The offensive line of Philadelphia wasn't getting any younger. They reached their peak after the Super Bowl. On average, I think they were 30, I think there were, I think the youngest might have been 32, the oldest might have been 34, 35. Not a young offensive line with a young quarterback coming off. Hey, and you know what? I wish Carson Wentz uh, the best of luck. Thank you for the time in Philadelphia. Thank for leading. Thank you for leading us to the Super Bowl. Uh, by the way, league MVP in 2017. Sorry, Tom Brady. And with that being said, uh, wait, one thing. Check this out before I let you go. Yes. The Colts could be a potential destination for Eagles tight end Zach Ertz after Wentz trade. The Wentz era is over in Philadelphia and the franchise all-time leading pass catcher tight end could be right behind him. The reports are that the Eagles reached out to the Colts and to the Seahawks about a deal for Ertz and if Philly chooses to release the tight end, the expectation is that a quarterback tight end reunification could happen. If they let Ertz go, which would be stupid. You got to get something for him. Yes, you didn't give any anything. You, you, you got nothing. You got squat for Wentz. At least with Ertz, you're going to get something for him. But that's why the Eagles are the dumpster fire that they are right now in the NFL. I would love to see it personally. See those two reunite under Frank Wright. Uh, but we're talking cap money. The Eagles would say $4.7 million towards the 21 cap after eating 7.8 of dead money 
in releasing Ertz versus signing him. Now, these are just rumors. These are just rumors. Now, would it be great to have Ertz join, rejoin Wentz with Frank Reich? Um, I think it would be great. I think it would. I think it. Uh, it'll be uh, great for Indianapolis to, uh, you know, put that dream team back together again. I mean, that'd be great. Um, but we're gonna see. Uh, so it's like I say, it's gonna be very interesting um, if those rumors tend to be true. And of course, uh, if Wentz would have stayed, I would have said it would be stupid to to not re-sign Ertz, just let him go for nothing. But with Wentz gone, I won't put it past Philly to just let him go, come loose. Because unfortunately, so as an Eagles fan, <laughs> oof, tough times ahead. But with that being said, I'm Jez Bergonzo. This is what's next. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.